Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this is going to be our patch update for Planetary Annihilation. The new patch has just come out maybe a couple of hours ago, so I can get this out on time. This should be Thursday that this goes out. Hopefully, if I haven't done this wrong, maybe early Friday. Um, shit, let's go straight into it. So, the first thing, the biggest thing about this update was the unit cannon, the thing that was in the trailer and it has been missing from the game for far, far too long. But, oh my god, was it worth the wait. This thing is unbelievable. It, Ah, amazing. Um, so I'll put the stats up to the side so you can read it. I'll just put out some some of the like basic things. Uh, the metal cost is 14,400. It has 3,000 health. It can build ants, which is the tanks, spinners, which is the anti-air, docks, which you know what the, those are, they're like little, like, zerg things. Grenadiers, which are the long-range bots. Combat fiber, it's obvious. Slammer, which is the advanced docks. Advanced combat fiber. No, I've never used them. Uh, T1 and T2 bot and vehicle fabers, uh, which are like fabricators. If I uh, explain it, uh, it draws 14,050 power. And it can hold 12 pods, which means it can hold 12 units at a time. Add uh, for like filling up and not being able to build anything else. Um, other things, iron cannon, which is the umbrella, has added an anti-entry weapon to intercept. Okay, so it like shoots down. Um, pods come in and things like that. If I stutter at this, it's because <coughs> it's I'm reading straight off the website and I need to get this done fast, fast, fast. Naval balance. Um, they change the naval speeds and things like that. Um, also they change the size of them down by 25% from the looks of things. Uh, yep, every single, every single, sorry, <laughs> uh, naval ship has been decreased in size by 25%. Um, I'll put this on the screen again just so you can see. Um, the build, some of them has their builds, their cooldown uh, increased. Um, some of their names have been changed, so the Orca has been changed to the Destroyer. Um, the Piranha has been changed to the Gunboat. Uh, the Narwhal has been changed to the Frigate. The, bat, uh, the Leviathan has been changed to the Battleship. And the Stingray is the Missile Ship, which is like the anti air kind of stuff like that. Um, other things that are just kind of extras, the single barrel defence tower, which is the T1 defence tower, has had its health decreased and has also had its metal decreased. Um, the dual one has also had that down. Flat cannon, which is the T2 anti air, which can shoot down points as well, I believe, um, has had its metal decreased to 900 from 1600 and its health increased to 2000 instead of 1000. Torpedo launchers, uh, again, decreased in metal. To 400. Splash radius is 10, which I don't know what that is, I don't know. Um, who damage splash radius if you want? Not a clue what that means. <laughs> I don't know. And this is naval stuff, I don't really use naval, so I don't know a lot of this stuff. Um, I know what torpedo launchers do, it's kind of self-planetary. Um, again, advanced torpedo launcher has been decreased from 100, uh, 1800 to 1000. Um, right, and other things that I've included, this is going to be it's really quick, it's like 3 minutes or something. Um, now the air, now ins bombers are prioritised. Now instead of before this patch, it would be the anti-air would try and shoot down a uh, like fighters instead of bombers first, which which was obviously bad. Um, now I've switched that about and bombers are prioritised by anti-air. Um, the bomber turn rate has increased to 110 from 75. Uh, I'll just lead out some quickly some miscellaneous stuff and then I'll leave out the bug patches for you to read yourself if you want to. And the acceleration of the docks has been decreased to 50 instead of 200 and... What else is here? Yeah, you, yeah, as you saw in the start, uh, there's a newly redesigned main menu which looks really nice and stuff there is now, um, what do you call them? Tutorials kind of at the start. Mm. Uh, nukes now have orbital trajectory lines which would be interesting to see, I've not seen them yet. Um, secondary colours are now add, addable, so you can have two colours and choose what your second colour is. Um, and that is it from the looks of things. So, um, happy deal, you've been great. Remember, hit that like, favourite, subscribe button if you liked it. If you didn't, click dislike and explain why. And remember, hit the subscribe. Yeah, said that before. Right, bye. I'm going to go have this stuff.